Hey everybody, Mr. Mathblog here. This lesson is Add and Subtract Fractions. So this is uh, Lesson 6-5 in our textbook we're following. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And so yeah, if you guys can, would you guys click like uh, if you get a second uh, and, and or subscribe. It just helps encourage me to keep making these videos. And, and let's go ahead and get started. There's our common course strand and our essential uh, question is how can we use a common denominator to add or subtract fractions that with unlike denominators? So we'll do a couple of strategies here. So here we go. Hank bought one fourth pound of screws and three eighths uh, pound of nails to build a skateboard ramp. So what is the total weight of the screws and the nails? Okay, so what we're going to do is add these two numbers, one fourth plus three eighths, and then we're going to write the answer in simplest form. So if we can reduce our answer, that's what we'll do in this last one. So one way is to find a common denominator by multiplying these two denominators. So if we multiply four times eight, 4 times 8 is equal to 32, so that's going to be a common denominator right there. So we're going to change both these fractions so they have uh, 32. So we're going to use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions that have the same denominator of 32. And then we'll add uh, those once we get common denominators and write them in simplest form. Okay, just slid that up right there. Okay, so we're going to multiply each fraction times 1. So here's 1, 8 over 8. And remember, any number over itself equals 1. And when you multiply it by 1, it won't change the value. So we multiply this one by 8 over 8 because 4 times 8 will give us this 32 for the denominator, and 1 times 8 will be 8. Here, this denominator is 8, so we have to multiply this denominator by 4, but that means we've got to multiply the top also by 4. So, so 3 times 4 is 12, and then they're both over 32. Okay, so here's 1 times 8 is 8, over 4 times 8 is 32. Here's 3 times 4 is 12, over 8 times 4 is 32. Now they have a common denominator of 32, so now we just add the numerators, the top numbers, 8 plus 12. 8 plus 12 is 20. So 20 over 32. And then we'll re, re, re <laughs> sorry, tongue twister. We will reduce 20 over 32 by dividing them both by 4. 20 divided by 4 is um, 5, and then 32 divided by 4 is 8. So this will reduce to 5 eighths, and that's going to be our simplest form right there. So, so there are 5 eighths, uh, of pound of screws and nails in there, okay? Here's another way, you guys. We're going to find the least common denominator. Oftentimes, if we find the least common denominator, uh, then we don't have to reduce it at the end. Sometimes you do, but oftentimes we don't. So the least common denominator of this 4 and 8, well, 4 goes into 8, so, so the least common denominator is going to be 8. So if one goes into the other one, then you can use that as your denominator right there. So then we'll only have to change this one fourth right here, okay? Because this is already in terms of eight. So to make this four and eight, we got to multiply it by two. That means we're going to multiply the top by two because this is going to be our one right here, okay? So then we have one times two over four times two. That's going to give us two eighths. And then let's just slide over that three eighths. And then when we add these common denominators, they're already in terms of eight. So we just have to add two plus three, which gets us five eighths. Okay. And that's what we got the other way. We just don't have to reduce it at the end. Okay. So the total weight of the screws and nails is still five eighths of a pound right there. All right, so when subtracting two fractions with unlike denominators, we follow the same steps when we add the two fractions, but instead of adding, we just subtract. So here we're going to subtract 9 tenths minus 2 fifths, okay? And we'll write our answer in simplest form. All right, so what's the least common denominator? Okay, well, since 5 goes into 10, then 10 is our least common denominator right there, so we'll only have to change... Uh, we'll only have to change this fraction right here. See, this is how, if you, if you list the multiples of one of the denominators, one of them is 10, multiples of 10 are 10 times 1, 10 times 2, 10 times 3. You probably know how to count by 10s, 10s, 20, 30, 40, 50. Multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20. So here's the least common denominator right here, but we knew that because 5 goes into that. Okay, so what we're going to do is just uh, multiply this 5 times 2, but that means we've got to multiply the top number times 2, so we can make it just by 1. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 2 is 10, so this one's going to be 4 tenths. Now they have common denominators, and we can subtract. 9 minus 4 gets us 5 tenths right there, okay? And then we'll simplify, since 5 is 1 half of 10, this simplifies to 1 half right there, okay? 
All right, easy enough right there, okay? Hey, don't forget, if you guys can, uh, click like, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, you guys.